Good afternoon, my name is Pop. This video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics shows you how you can create PDF forms with fillable blanks in them. This is uh, an instruction that you can get online. Just type in creating forms from scratch and it itself is a PDF file and it's very well written. It's quite complicated. It goes into detail and it gives instructions both for Linux and Windows. There are some slight variations in how the screens look between the two operating systems. And with this method, you can use your word processor, in my case, LibreOffice Writer. I am going to create a new file that has in it some little blanks that you can put in the date and so forth, and the guy's name and so forth. And you can create limitations of what is allowed to be put into those blanks and how big they are and whether they're scrollable and so forth. It goes into great detail and I followed that to create this ODT file right here and it is a days off request form at work and it's just got the person's name, travel description and then a couple of dates. And you'll notice if you tap into this it pops up a little calendar. You've seen that before and you've perhaps wondered how that's done. Well, you can do it real easy with this method. After you've created the ODT file, you will come up here to File and Export as a PDF. And when I do so, it creates another file with the same exact name, except that the last name is not ODT. The last name is going to be PDF. And here we go. I'm saving. And now it's on my desktop. And I'm going to close the ODT file. And here is the PDF file. And when I right click, here's something interesting. I thought I was going to have to be using Adobe Reader. And so I went to the trouble of downloading Adobe Reader. It is not in the Ubuntu Software Center. It's a two-line download. But instead, to my delight, I found out that the document viewer can be used to edit such a file and fill out such a form. So here I go, Document Viewer, and this is that same file, and it looks the same. I mean, normally you just can read these things, and normally you cannot edit these things, but in this one instance, you can go to that uh, field that is open there, and you can just type in somebody's name. And then Travel Description, you can put in wherever you're going to go. And then the Days Off, you'll put in a date, and so on. Now you can print this or save this. There are implications. If I print to file, it's just going to save it on the desktop. Here I'm just going to save a copy. And I'm going to put it right on the desktop. And it says, well, hey, you've already got one with that name. Do you want to write over it? Normally you'd put in some other name for it, but I'm going to replace it. And I'll show you how neat this thing works. Now this is the one I just filled out, right? And I'm going to close it. Now I'm going to open up the one that I just saved. And the names and such should be showing. And there they are. But not to worry because you can edit. And you put in another name, another city, and so on. And then you can either print it or save it. Save a copy, close without saving. I want to show you what Adobe looks like. Adobe does the same thing. It just looks a little bit different. When you open up Adobe, it has the same sort of thing. The files are uh, highlighted in blue in the area where you want to fill them in. There's a warning here that pops up. It says, fill this stuff out. You cannot save what you filled out. Well, you can in Ubuntu. You can in Linux. You just cannot do that in Adobe. In that sense, Linux is better. In many other senses, Adobe has more features. However, it's expensive. If you get the full-blown thing, it's about a thousand dollars, I think. I did not show how you could download Adobe. 
it's a two-liner. You go online and type in Ubuntu 14.04 Adobe and you will copy and paste those two lines in and you will install Adobe. And it, when you do, it shows up down here as an icon. I also downloaded this one called Master PDF Editor. It is more, well, I guess it's a little clunkier. I don't know. I mean, I just gave it a cursory inspection. This is full featured, but the reader that comes with Ubuntu is the simplest solution. My name is Pop. I have a whole bunch of videos on YouTube called Ubuntu Basics, and I thank you very much.